Peterborough win the first draw. Buglas looks to bring it up to Padalek, but he doesn't, turns it over. Nag's happy just to follow this in, but he's under a bit of pressure. Nag's under a little bit of pressure from Spears here. He pops it up to Chamberlain on the red line, and Sarkana's picked up, and there's an odd man rush here. Talbot in front, Talbot's in, and Talbot sorts it home for 1-0 Milton Keynes Lightning. That was a turnover from Peterborough. Led to an odd man rush. Sarkanis in on the right hand side. Torbert all alone in the middle. He still had work to do and he had to use his hands to go right then left. Or oh, get the angle from behind here. You can see Sarkanis coming on the right hand side. There's Torbert and he has to go right, control it back onto his, uh, onto his backhand. Does a great job turning it past Jordan Marr. 13.04 remaining in the first period and it's 1-0 Lightning. Hunt now fighting really well, but he gives it away and McKenzie starts to skate. McKenzie looking faster than I've seen him for a long time there. Curls inside and puts it just to the uh, low on the uh, catcher side of Marr. Just went slightly wide. Barnes Garner on the blue line, manages to keep it in. And McKenzie's in there fighting for the puck again. He takes a bump up against the wall, but that's okay. Mitchell King on the ice as well. He's saying his name a lot, so I think Mitchell King getting some good ice time as Thorpe aims to go past Nixon. Oh, and that's a good goal. So that's uh, Sladkowski clear open in right in front of the net. The loose puck came up, and it was Callum Field looking to pick up his man. So this was uh, it's a good Peterborough attack, and it was Hunt, I think, behind the goal. Jarvis Hunt. Just dug the puck out. You can see Callum Field looking to pick him up. Doesn't quite get hold of it. He slides it open. And that's uh, straight down the barrel from uh, Sladkowski there to make it 1-1. He had Chamberlain with him, but he couldn't, couldn't lay it off to him. Peterborough happy to chop it over. Nags picks it up. And Talbot recycles it. Lights up that speed. He's, got, he's in now. He's had a really good go. Matthew sticks his arm up, and there's going to be a call here. Norton's going to get a uh, hooking call. Always a treat to see the hooking call called by uh, Stephen Matthews. Got a very uh, unique action, as you can see on the screen there. Almost theatrical, you might say. Norton had no choice there. Talbot had lit up the afterburner, so he was in on goal. And Norton had to take one for the team. It feels like Lightning are running out of time here to make anything happen with 12 seconds. The crowd start to shout shoot, as they often do on the power play. Well, with six seconds to go on this period, Lightning will just run down the clock and see out the period. And the first period ends, Milton Keynes Lightning won, Peterborough Phantoms won. So Peterborough line out with Johnson and Buglas, Spears and Billing. Lightning's power play unit is Chamberlain on the right, Stewart in the centre, Sarkanis on the left with Wallace and Talbot. And the back end, Buglas picks it up, chops it in. Talbot brings it over the blue line. He looks to set up. Shots are gone in the first 10 on Peterborough, 12 on Milton Keynes. Wallace on the blue line. He's quarterback in this play. He's going to look to slide it through. And Mar got the blocker on it. Comes back out to Wallace. He's put it down to Sarkanis. He's moving it around. He, Talbot points it up to Wallace. Wallace is going to slide it out to Talbot here. He's going to look to slide it across to Sarkanis. Gets over there, but Sarkanis can't quite control it. But he can get it over to Wallace. And there's, uh, the penalty now comes to an end. And Lightning need to be careful they don't get caught on the break. Wallace with a big boomer there, and this rebound comes, and Chamberlain slots it home, and just after the power play had come to an end, Lightning are able to convert. Peter is still reeling from being a man down. Wallace with a big slap shot from the blue line. As you can see, it comes over to him, gets through, pad save from Marr, but Chamberlain's right in front. Stewart's blocking Marr's vision, causing all sorts of trouble there. From Mars angle, you can see it comes through. Great save, but Chamberlain there just to chop it in over Mars, Mars outstretched leg, making it 2-1 with 20-48 gone in this game. Now Griffin's with it. He's got Max Stewart with him and Ed Nags up onto the left. Max Stewart just about stayed on side and 
Griffin was going for the far post as Nag slid across, but he couldn't get there. Nags, though, picks up a stray pass from Peter. He tries to dump it in, but Buglas catches it, lays it off to Thorpe. Oh, and that's a great goal by Sladkowski. Walks his way through. Sladkowski so dangerous there. I was watching the players. They uh, came off and they were going to the bench, but uh, Sladkowski picked it up, comes in over the red line, dances his way through. Great hands there, great strength and speed, and goes over... Uh, Headley's uh, outstretched glove, I think it was. Let's have a look here. Goes around the outside. Look at that skill there. And uh, just goes top shelf. The water bottle goes flying out. And that's a great finish from him for his second goal there. Spears does well to keep it in. He just lays it off the back wall there, looking for it to come out the other side. But it was Stewart who picked it up. Stewart lays it up to Talbot. And uh, Salisbury... Uh, Real good stand up here on Talbot. I think the only problem was Talbot didn't have the puck. <laughs> so there's an interference call coming on Archie Salisbury here. Two minute interference penalty with 11.42 to go in this second period. I saw what Salisbury was doing there. He was uh, aiming to take Talbot out the play gambled slightly that Talbot would pick the puck up and it would be a clean hit. It would have been if Talbot had the puck, but uh, he didn't, so it wasn't. And it's a two-minute penalty for young Archie Salisbury. Norton just fires the puck round. He's got Nixon now coming up the ice. Oh, Nixon unlucky there. He looked to chip the uh, puck in. And, uh, and that stick just gave way. Uh, it decided it had more than enough. Nixon heads to the bench to get a rest and hopefully another stick as uh, Stewart picks it up in the corner there. And Talbot, uh, it's got this real thing where he drops his shoulder now. Can't quite get this puck uh, lying flat for him, but he's doing okay. Drops it back to Chamberlain. And Chamberlain slid it out beautifully to Talbot there. Great move coming up the ice from Talbot. Talbot in front of his own net, got those, uh, got that speed running. He laid it back to Chamberlain as he came through and managed to get out in front and uh, almost anywhere else with that shot. And uh, Ma would have been uh, in trouble. But as it was, Ma covered the angle really well. Moved across, kept that uh, five hole closed beautifully and the good goaltending from Ma there in the Peter Burnett. Luke Johnson banks it up, but only goes as far as Green, who switches it to his defensive partner, Captain Lewis Christie. Sarkanis can't quite control it. Bounces off Green skates. Headley forced to come out. And there's a coming together between uh, Green and Sisters, I think it was. Sisters ends up uh, scoring a goal with himself. Let's take a look at the replay. So, bounced off Green skates. Um, Green forced to uh, chop sisters there. And uh, I think it was actually called on uh, Lewis Christie. Two minutes for slashing with 5.50 to do, 5.52 to go in this second period. And the Phantoms power play unit comes out with Norton and Padalek. Padalek lethal with that shot from the blue line. Billing wins it back. Spears is going to slide it back to Norton. And Norton's going to pass it down to Billing. Oh, and Billing slides it in uh, short side on Jordan Headley there. I think Billing gave everyone the eyes, looked like he was going to pass it off. Let's see this on the replay. Low on the kind of right-hand side there, the blocker side of Headley. Headley's got a pretty clear sight of it. And, uh, yeah, looks like it went between the post and Jordan Headley himself there difficult angle to score from 53 seconds to go in this second period lightning trail 3-2 make that 4-2 as there's a turnover in front of the net and Sir Senes there is left alone all in front of the net so let's have a look at this turnover lightning couldn't quite clear the uh, clear the puck so there were some tired legs there. The draw comes back. Puck comes round. Stewart stops it a little bit. Can't quite get rid of it. And Sir Senes is out there. 
eight seconds to go. Lightning will look to see this period out. And uh, Sarkanis will go for a skate, but there's not going to be enough time to do anything. And that period ends uh, Milton Keynes Lightning 2, Peterborough Phantoms 4. Lightning seem to lose concentration slightly. Chamberlain put them ahead, but then three unanswered goals through Sladkowski, Glenn Billing, and uh, Ralph Sersenis stretch the lead to 4 2 in Peterborough's favour. So Lightning going to look to do something here. Talbot on the draw. They lose the draw. Chamberlain uh, now picks it up, fires it into the corner. So Arcanis will chase. Ben Russell drawn into uh, firing it round the boards, but that was never going to go out. Wallace is able to... Uh, oh, and here goes Stewart on one of those trademark poke checks. He's going to have a go. He's under real pressure there. Liam Stewart, often the sort of king of the short-handed goal, that long stick, that kind of uh, fishing action there that he's able to uh, go and steal the puck as James Griffin comes back out onto the ice for lightning. Sam Talbot follows Billy Thorpe into the behind the net there and there's a turnover Sam Talbot's got the puck he's gonna have a go and it's knocked in Sam Talbot did really well to pick the puck up there and it was Eddie Nags waiting there at the uh, the back door kind of slides it in with Mark committed to make it 4-3 great movement again by Talbot to create some space here got the shot in forced Mar into the save gave up the rebound onto uh, Eddie Nags and Ed Nags just fires it home and we said Lightning needed to score and that's exactly what they've done 3-4, 13 minutes and 9 seconds to go but there's a breakaway here Spears uh, rather turning the Lightning players inside out there as he went backwards and forwards on that breakaway Chamberlain brings it up a maximum of a 2 minute power play as Jasper Foster, Foster takes those uh, those 2 minutes with just over eight minutes to go. Wallace on the draw, gets tied up, but Chamberlain's able to slide it back. Talbot's on the back end with Sarkarnas. Talbot's now got it, he'll look, slide it to Wallace, he'll give it back to Talbot. Talbot go to Wallace again, it looks like. He'll slide it into the centre. No, he elects to go back up to Talbot. Talbot takes the shot, it's deflected. Chamberlain tries to get a glove on it. Stewart's there with him, gets that long stick on it. But, uh, Brooks is calling a high sticking penalty here. Power play for Lightning. One goal will send it to overtime. Jordan Headley's on the bench. Sarkanis will look to try and uh, pick up the puck. Tim Wallace has got it on the uh, back end for Lightning. He's put under pressure by Glenn Billing. Phantoms though, they can, uh, they got time on their side here as Wallace brings it forwards. He chips it into the corner, follows his own puck past Luke Johnson. If Peter will get a stick on it, they're gonna have a go. And it's gone all the way up the end. And that'll be uh, not an icing because it's a uh, short-handed situation. A lightning come for one more attack with just 40 seconds to go now. Stewart lays it off to Sam Talbot. Puck's dumped in, Douglas is behind there, he, he riffs it round. Wallace is on the blue line, and Lightning really need to try and get a shot here. 27 seconds to go, they're running out of time. Peterborough collapse in front of their goal, Sarkanis is on his heels, so he can't get it through. Talbot's there, he has a go, Puck gets battered out by Marr. Tension's building as Wallace is there, 13 seconds to go, Lightning, it's all or nothing now. They got one shot here, they got one chance, the crowd shout shoot, and the goal goes in! Sammy Talbot, 5.4 seconds to go! Equaliser for Lightning, power play goal. It was well worked. The crowd were shouting shoot. Talbot heard them, he pulled the trigger, slid it past Marr, and it's all square. MK Lightning 4, Peterborough Phantoms 4, and real drama, real excitement in front of this huge crowd in Milton Keynes tonight. I'm sorry if I've broken your TVs at home by going so loud there. 
my producers are um, are staring at me now, and I'm sorry about that. But with two seconds to go now, the game runs out, and Lightning claw it back from 4-2 at the end of the second to make it Milton Keynes Lightning 4, Peterborough Phantoms 4. Headley is obviously back at his net. Tolbo go down for the draw. And uh, really can't choose who's going to win this. But uh, the game always more open and always a completely different beast uh, over time. Trick here is to not get uh, pulled into a turnover because there's so much space out on the ice there. If you turn over the puck when you're trying to make an attack, can end up in real trouble and end up in an odd man rush. Easy as Susters comes in. Wow, that was close. Susters took it high, bounced off the glass, hit the back of Headley, and it nearly went in. Amazing scenes there. Stewart comes through. Stewart's going to go. He can't quite pick it up. Nax has picked it up in front of the net. He takes the shot. Billing calms it down, though, and goes behind the net. As Sladkowski's there, lightning change, and Wallace and Chamberlain come out with Griffin on the back end as well, as Wallace aims to a uh, precious Ladkowski there. Griffin's one-on-one -on -one now with Padalek. Billings open on the far side. Billing turns around the corner, and there's Padalek, and then Peter removing it really nicely here. And that's it. Peterborough won in overtime. Peter removed it round and round, left it open. And Peterborough are delighted, understandably so. One minute, ten gone. You win some, you lose some in overtime. And Lightning went close a couple of times. But they just couldn't quite get their stick on the puck. A number of things could have stopped that goal. A number of things made it happen. It's the luck of the draw sometimes. But it was a good finish from Padalek, right place at the right time.